something very special has come to the beautiful town of Albany. It's an art installation that has people from all over Australia raving about it. And it further enhances Albany's reputation as one of WA's great creative hubs. Albany was the last land that many of our Anzac heroes ever saw as they traveled to Europe to fight in the Great War. And the National Anzac Centre here is a must visit and experience every Australian should have. The position looking out over the ocean is spectacular and the stories told within leave memories you'll never forget. Bruce Munro has created an immersive art installation at Mount Clarence in homage to the Anzacs who departed Albany for the Great War. Michael Stanovich is the marketing manager for Form and I asked him about Field of Light, the Avenue of Honour and its installation. So Michael, tell me, who is Form? So Form is a, a cultural organisation based in Perth mm -hmm. um, that advocates for sort of pushing the creative boundaries um, in WA and, and really building a state of creativity and we've done a lot with uh, public art around the state. This particular installation is something quite amazing. So Form uh, last year commissioned Bruce Munro to create a field of light along Albany's Avenue of Honour. Uh, we brought 16,000 lights in commemoration of the Anzacs because this year uh, the entire world is commemorating 100 years since Armistice. This particular uh, number of lights is quite symbolic as well, isn't it? It comes really close to the um, amount of men and women who never came back from the first contingent that left uh, Albany's shores back in 1914. Sue McMahon is front of house here and talks about the installation. We had 50 volunteers installing the, um, the lights. It took us approximately 10 days. And then we had about four evenings of light testing. The feedback has been really amazing. We've had people in tears, just feeling the emotion here. A lot of people have got Anzac connections um, or a connection with military um, as well. So they are really feeling something special when they come here. We've had people from all over the world. Um, we've had people from all over Australia and of course all over WA as well. We were expecting around 30,000 visitors to visit the Field of Light. However, to date, we're just coming up for our seventh week and we've got 38,000 people, which is absolutely fabulous. Of course, it runs from the 4th of October down to Anzac Day, 25th of April, 2019. The view from Mount Clarence over King George Sound is spectacular and being located on the edge of the township of Albany, it's a must-have experience when you're here. Albany is a must-see stop on the Great Southwest Edge, a road trip from Perth to Esperance, a drive you will absolutely love. If you haven't experienced it and if it's been a while since you've explored this part of WA, isn't it time to pack up the car and take a trip you'll never forget.